Good morning guys, it is Thursday, March 23rd, it's freezing outside, uh, just got done tanning and I am about to head home and get a few things done because tonight, like my childhood, the TV show that defined my childhood is finally, finally getting rebooted and coming to the big screen. Power Rangers. I've done trailer reviews. I've talked about it. And now it's finally coming to fruition. And I could not be more excited. Uh, so today, the plan, I'm heading home. I'm going to try to get some work done. Head to the gym, hit legs, eat, and then Power Rangers. And you guys will be getting a review at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. But first things first. Gotta head to the gas station, pick up a monster for this ride home. Hey guys, so just got home from work and I feel like this is beating a dead horse at this point because I've talked about it to literally no end over over and over and over again but my internet here is horrible um, I've tried everything I've tried I've tried calling my internet provider they've come out um, they've ran different tests uh, I've tried plugging my my computer into my router so that I can upload faster I've tried everything. In my last video that I uploaded, which was my weekend at Purdue, back at Universal Fitness, took 48 hours to upload. Now, as somebody that tries to put out two, three, four videos sometimes a week, that gives me like mad anxiety um, knowing that my upload speeds are that slow. So, I've tried literally everything, and my last ditch effort is to take my router right here that I had when I was at Purdue in college. Take this router right here, take it upstairs, switch it out for the one that I've been using for the past few months, and if that doesn't work, then I guess I just have to accept it until I move um, that my internet here is gonna suck. So um, this is my last ditch effort. Going to take this, unplug it, head upstairs, plug it into our main router, um, well, like the modem and see if that works, but I'm um, probably going to do that kind of let itself work itself out a little bit um, Run and I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna hit legs come home and hopefully it's a little bit better But I guess I won't really know until I start uploading a new video tonight, which will be the video that you guys see before this one um, so I want to have that video up tomorrow, which might not even be possible, but um, then this video will be up two days later, but that's the plan Ha, huh, fingers crossed. Alright guys, so just got to the gym, finishing off my pre-workout, and... Every day when I get to the gym, before I head inside, I open up my gym bag and I take out my headphones, turn them on, that way my phone syncs up because I have Bluetooth headphones, and I get my music going, I get the right state of mind, and I head in, and I warm up, and I kill my workout. However, today, I opened up my, I opened up my gym bag and uh, my headphones aren't in there. And I just remembered I was charging them last night and I left them on my desk. So I have to go inside and do legs and listen to today's pop mix hits, whatever, be a stupid playlist my gym is gonna be playing. So that sucks, but nonetheless, I guess I just gotta focus a little bit more today, so screw my life, seriously. Come on, Treg. What are you doing? Ah.
guys. So done with my leg workout and I got a decent workout in. However, without headphones, man, I was riding that struggle bus hard today. Uh, seriously, if I didn't learn anything except for one thing this entire week, it was today and it's double check your bag and make sure you bring your headphones every time. All right guys, so just stopped at Dollar General because we're going to the movies tonight and if you guys know the only thing I ever get at Dollar General is the best candy on planet Earth that you can only find there, Sour Dudes. So good, but about to take all this home eat a little bit and then I'm going to try to edit this video up as quick as I can see if my internet's working and then it's movie time it's Power Rangers time it's morphin time guys so just got here to the movies going to see Power Rangers finally so pumped for this but um, I'm gonna head inside got my sour dudes and uh, I'm ready to go been waiting long time for this one and fingers crossed that it's good it can either be very good I don't I just feel like this movie is probably not gonna be like in between it's either gonna be a super big letdown or it's gonna be awesome so I'll let you guys know what I think when we get out all right guys so just got out of the theater from seeing Power Rangers and when I was walking in you heard me say this movie is either gonna be extremely disappointing or super awesome well, I could. Uh, first initial thoughts, I couldn't have been more wrong. Um, I have very mixed feelings on this movie, but I'm going to drive home. I'm going to sort out those feelings, and I'm going to tell you guys everything I thought about this movie. Um, I'm going to admit that uh, there probably will be some spoilers in it. Um, however, um, if you guys just want to know my like initial thoughts it's definitely worth seeing but um, yeah I, I got some mixed feelings that I will tell you guys about um, in more depth when I get home so um, yeah if you guys don't want any spoilers just know that I did like it but um, it was mixed uh, still go see it though still go see it alright guys so just got home and I've had some time now to process my thoughts <clears throat> and think about this movie a little bit more. And the more I think about it, the more I kind of like maul over this entire film. Um, the less I have a problem with it and the more I'm leaning towards really, really liking it. And um, I walked out of the theater, the third act of this movie stole my heart. The third act of this movie, in my opinion, as a like super fan of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The third act of this movie was everything I went to this movie to see. I absolutely loved it. Um, but uh, leading up to that point, this movie was an origin story. And um, there were some bits and pieces that I really kind of had some problems with. Uh, however, I want to talk to you guys about some things that I liked. I want to start out with the good. I really liked the third act of this movie. I liked the way they closed it. I liked the way that everything came together once they became the Power Rangers. Um, another thing I liked was the casting choices. Jason, Billy, Zach, Trini, Kimberly. I thought they were cast absolutely perfectly. I loved these actors as the Power Ranger characters that they were cast as. I really thought they were good. Um, Elizabeth Banks as Rita Repulsa, I thought that was a very, very good casting. I thought her performance as Rita Repulsa was really, really good. Um, another thing that I really liked was just the way they kind of, I don't know, made this show, or made this movie kind of feel like the show, because at first, this was an issue for me. Uh, I was kind of like, man, this seems... A little corny some of this dialogue is not real great but you know what the more I thought about it that's Power Rangers if you go back and you watch the original show it's very campy it's very corny 
Um, the lines are very, um, if you're into something that is gonna have a strong script, um, it, the, the lines are a little cringeworthy uh, if you are watching the original television show. And you know, teenagers with attitude is like the mantra of Power Rangers. And you know what? That kind of comes with some of that cheesiness. However, um, this movie had some of that, especially leading up um, at the beginning of the movie um, and into kind of like as they were training to become the Power Rangers. However, um, the more, that was one issue for me that when I left the theater, my first impression was like, ah, I don't know about that. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what, that's Power Rangers. I like, I just gotta accept that. As a fan of Power Rangers, um, you're gonna get that cheesiness, you're gonna get that corniness because this is a movie that didn't go dark. Um, that didn't, I mean, there were some points of this movie that were a little dark, but at its core, this is still a movie that appeals to kids um, that adults can get behind and really like as well. But um, those were some points that I really, really liked about this movie. Um, one thing that I did have a little bit of a problem with was Goldar. Um, you guys have seen in the trailers that Goldar is like the final boss of this movie. Um, in the television show, Goldar was kind of like Rita's right hand man. He had um, a, a decent personality, like he was his own character. He wasn't just some mindless monster that she grew and threw at the Power Rangers to fight and be destroyed. However, in this movie, they completely pulled away Goldar's personality. They completely pulled away his character and what made him a very liked character from the original series and they just made him another mindless monster that Rita grows and throws at the Power Rangers to like help her take over the universe and whatever. So um, to me that was my biggest issue with the movie because Goldar was my favorite villain from the original Power Rangers. So to see him kind of get everything that made him an enjoyable character kind of taken away uh, was a little frustrating however that was my biggest gripe with this movie um, so if that was my biggest gripe I think we're doing all right by the way um, <clears throat> the like another thing that I really liked I know I'm kind of backtracking now but um, once they morphed and you saw the Zords in action you saw them in their suits in action this movie was awesome like I don't care what you say this movie was awesome once you saw them in their zords and in their costumes and the way this movie ends it really kind of leads into oh, I'm really hoping for a sequel I, I don't know for sure I know they have like five planned but I mean you never know you have to see how it does at the box office you have to kind of see if the actors are on board you have to see like if they can find it like there's so many different things that go into making a sequel but to me, I would really like to see a sequel, especially because there is a mid credit scene that you guys should stick around for that sets up a sequel. And just the way this movie ended with, I thought the third act was so strong. And I really think that can take a nice first step forward into a sequel, especially with what they teased in the mid credit scene. So if I was to rate this movie kind of lot like on a one to 10 scale, at first, my first impression was like a six and a half, maybe seven. But you know what? After kind of like thinking about it more and what I went in this movie to kind of like see and want out of a Power Rangers movie, I would say it's definitely more of like, to like I know I'm probably rating it way high, um, but to me, it was about a, it was a solid eight. Um, and I'm okay with that because it was a lot better than the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, but um, do I recommend going to see this in theaters? Yes, it's fun. Um, Logan, like a movie like Logan was a better movie, but Logan wasn't as fun as Power Rangers. So if you want to go and you want to take like your girlfriend or you want to take like your family or something to go see a fun movie, Power Rangers is the one that you guys should definitely go see. So. Um, those are my thoughts on Power Rangers. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna see it again, and I'm really hoping for a sequel. But let me know down below, what did you guys think of Power Rangers if you've seen it? Do you guys wanna see a sequel? What do you guys wanna see in a sequel? Even though they've kind of already told us what we're gonna see in a sequel. But um, let me know down below, what did you guys think of this movie? 
If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, I love doing these movie reviews, like movies are my passion, so um, anytime I can go see a movie, give an in-depth review, like that's what I love to do. So um, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that red subscribe button. Thanks again so much for watching guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.